<laughs> We're Lauren and Craig, and we've been traveling the world together for over a decade, but we keep getting drawn back to North America for its wildlife and nature. Our favorite way to travel is by camper van. So as soon as we flew into Vancouver, we started searching online and after just two days, we found the perfect van. This is Ruby, our 2006 Ford E350 van that we bought for $4,600 and converted into a home on wheels in just four days. The previous owner used this van for his building job, so all of the interior had shelves built in and cages across the windows so that people couldn't break in and steal his tools. Okay. Day one. We are off. Oh, we're really right. right place. Uh, we're going we're hopefully to the previous owner's workplace and going to use his tools and get rid of all this stuff inside. Move the, We're going to keep the sofa but move it around. But we need to move all the cupboards and stuff. So we drove to a very expensive area of Vancouver where the previous owner was working on a building site and we spent a good few hours trying to lever the damn shelves out of the van so when he saw us struggling he got his friends to come and help us. Well, make a lot more progress than we did. <laughs> Seeing as we're backpackers and travel very light we didn't have any tools with us so we had to make this build as simple as possible. All we had was a Swiss army knife and a drill we bought from Walmart for $17. But we're pretty used to doing a basic build, as this is actually our sixth van we've converted into a home on wheels while travelling the world. Once we had the shelves all out and the cages off the windows, it was time to give the van a very good clean, as she was filthy. Filthy. The easiest option for a bed frame was wooden pallets, so we managed to grab a couple of free ones from the back of the store. Okay, we are finishing up for the day. We are shattered. Um, so we have our bed base ready. We're gonna put these two pallets together and make a little extension on the back and then elevate them with some planks of wood tomorrow. Uh, we managed to get two of these horrible things off, but the other two, the bolts are busted. So they have to stay. So we have to get some wood and kind of do this sort of messy job that the previous owner did. And this is gonna be our little lounge. So we're gonna keep the sofa or the seats from the bus and cover it with a throw or something. And tomorrow we need to give it a good clean because you can see the walls are filthy. Um, and yeah, head to Ikea or Walmart and buy all our gear. Yep. Let's get dinner and a beer. Yep. We don't know what this key is, do we? No. Mm. Oh, we're gonna give the van a good clean today. Key's stuck in the ignition, we don't know why. And we have a wet patch on the floor. So, not a very productive day. We started day two parked outside our Airbnb so we could get some hot soapy water and clean the inside. Then we headed to Home Depot for a full day renovating the van. The floor ended up being our biggest challenge as there were bolts left from when we removed the passenger seats. So we had to try and make the floor as level as possible as we couldn't get the damn bolts out the floor. Why are we so far off? Uh. With a few slabs of wood here and there, we managed to make the floor as even as we could. And then we've put these things to kind of hold it all together. And it's a way that it kind of makes all the floor flat to these annoying level. So it's all pretty even now and we've had to cut, it's an absolute bodge job. We've put these little bits of wood to fill in the gaps and that's our vinyl flooring to go in. And we're gonna stick down some seatbelt straps onto these so the screws don't muck up our floor. Okay, we're laying the floor out so we need to cut the edges. Make it look good, it's looking good already. The vinyl flooring made such a difference. The van didn't look like a building site anymore. It was starting to look like a home. We needed to elevate the bed so we had some storage underneath 
and we found some cheap scrap wood in Home Depot which the staff kindly cut for us. Sadly our cheap drill wasn't good enough for this job so we tried to hire one from the store but they wouldn't allow us as we didn't have a Canadian address. So they compromised and just let us use it for free for one hour so it was good but we had to really rush. Checked out of our Airbnb this morning and moved into the new van home. Here she is, we've got all of our possessions two backpacks and one bag <laughs> and we are almost ready to hit the road we managed to finish the bed this morning so we need to find a mattress to go on it and then we need to go to Ikea and Walmart and get all of our cooking equipment bedding things like that Brilliant. we've just been in Ikea for half an hour and look at what Craig left outside nice one Craig our first night sleeping in the van was in a Walmart car park with sarongs, jackets and blankets covering the windows, so my big project for our final day was getting the curtains made. I know there's a lot of people that like to have a van without windows, uh, but for us we actually love having the windows everywhere as it lets in so much light and we can watch wildlife from the van. And we think we're going to be able to get some cord or wire slot between these gaps and hang across and go into the next one and along like that. Um, so hopefully that will work and I'm starting to hand sew it here for the cord to go through. We ended up spending $200 in Home Depot on the actual van build and then a further $700 for all of our cooking equipment, bedding, everything like that. So the total cost for the van and turning it into a home on wheels was $5,500 Canadian dollars. Now we're ready to hit the road and cross the border into the United States.